of his fate It's like nobody's watching you It's like you wanna be free My name is Ron Etheridge. I uh, play guitar and sing for Willie and Me. I'm William Coffich, and I play guitar for Willie and Me. I'm Chris Payne. I'm the drummer and percussion player from Willie and Me. I'm Jason Moore. I play bass for Willie and Me. Music can really actually make someone get up and move around. You know, it's a pretty powerful thing that, that it can do that. And the fact, and, and the fact that Ron and Will in particular can write such such good songs and really soulful lyrics there's actually a really cool message that they usually get across with all their songs. Well, I've known Will since high school. He went to the Air Force. I kept playing music with different bands. Uh, he came home for Christmas one year and we collaborated on some stuff. Ron and I had been talking uh, this whole time and luckily the music was still there and uh, we, we had a connection. We, uh, we started playing with a band in Mississippi. We'd always talked about moving somewhere. We didn't know where. He moved to Wilmington. Going to North Carolina. We got together playing at Cedars. Just Will, it was just Will and I. And that's where we got the name Willie and me. You see guys with acoustic guitars playing downtown all the time and didn't really think much of it. It's the first time I saw two guys with acoustic guitars playing at a bar and actually had people dancing. That's kind of what drew me to going up there and talking to him about it and hanging out with him a little bit. But finally, I, I, I was able to convince him to at least let me come over to their place one day and just jam out a little bit and play and you know, learn some of their songs. The night we auditioned him, uh, Jason brought us upright, and I was just like, oh, hell yeah. I was like, you're, you're, you're in. And I was like, I'm not playing bass. Uh, and it just kind of took us by storm. You know, after about three or four shows, I was kind of saying, well, you know, we really have to get a drummer. Jason started saying he knew a drummer, like we need to expand our sound more and more. I don't know if things happen for a reason, I have no idea. I would have never moved to Wilmington, North Carolina. I never even knew the place before I even came here, so. Finally, they, let me, they gave me the okay to let Chris, you know, or, or talk to Chris about coming in and playing. And he came into school one day and said, do you want to play with this local act? Uh, and Willie and me, we had a rehearsal, it worked, um, and it's I've been there ever since, uh, kind of a, a kismet. So it kind of solidified with us four members. As a band in general, I think it's hard to pinpoint the sound, but in our sense, I think we're lucky that you can't, no one can even pinpoint, oh, that sounds like this or that, because as soon as you say that sounds like something, the music changes to something else. We're really good on stage. Everyone moves around, everyone's grooves, everyone's dancing, everyone's smiling, you know, and we like, we. We don't try to hide the fact that we're having a really good time. There's nothing like it when people are dancing or singing your songs or just having a great time. It's the vibe that's bounced back and forth. Yeah, I definitely think it's the songs that have gotten people to like us so far. It's very groove oriented. Between the, you know, the dance and the energy part of it and the soulful aspect and the message, I mean, we definitely put out a show that, you know, leaves people fulfilled on many different levels. It's, it's simple, there's really no, there's no theory, there's no secret behind it, you know. Go out and have a good time. Play your heart out, play as if it's the last time you're ever gonna play. Just give everything you got every time you play. I don't care if there's one person or a million people that are out there. About 9.30 this morning And I packed my bags and hit the road Searching for salvation With an empty bag of smoke Going to North Carolina How kind will she be? different kinds of people in the band that we have when you got me from here and two guys from the Delta of Mississippi and then one guy from Philadelphia you know you can't help but you know just start blending different genres of music there's jazz classic rock or Motown or funk or whatever all of my all the music that influences me is for the most part high energy music 
Jason's probably the most melodic member of Willie and Me, which is very odd for a bass player to be melodic. He comes out with these crazy melodies that are just beautiful. I like funky bass lines, and funky hip hop, and funky Motown. Funky music is just my roots and where I come from. First thing I do when I'm hearing music is how can I make this danceable? How can I make this funky? That's what I try to make my contribution be to Willie. When I was younger, the, my vocal style was influenced by uh, Motown type singers and uh, I've always wanted to kind of emulate that. Well, blues was shoved down my throat all my life pretty much. Mixed between that and uh, like church music and R&B. Different varieties of what makes my style, I think. Southern gospel, R&B and blues. Over the years, they always change. I mean, I think every musician, but it, it kind of boils down to that what you started to get into when you were a kid. When you first got your guitar, you were learning those, those three chords. You were just pounding them out, you know? In our live shows, you know, I play, I do play with a lot of delay and a lot of weird effects and stuff like that. And it is that early influence of Floyd. Let's just not play a simple chord. Let's just not play a simple note. Let's try to add a little texture to it. And I think everybody in the band likes to add those little twists and little things to make it less boring. And uh, it works out. I've been playing drum set for 12 to 15 years. I started out as a kid. Um, and then it just escalated into other percussion instruments, um, marimba vibes, um, hand percussion, ethnic drums, and so forth. So. I was, I'm the youngest of four, so I didn't have a, any say with that playing on the radio. I, <laughs> I kind of had to take it. I grew up listening to Motown. Um, that was one major influence when I first started. Um, and then it just kind of escalated from there. Um, I'm kind of pretty open-minded about what music has to offer. You know, I am passionate about what I do. Um, I just want to be, a, a, you know, I want to learn. I want to be a, a great musician or a fine musician at least. I'd much rather be, you know, a nobody but do a good job at what I do. Oh, and sometimes I don't know where I want to go, but then you shine your light with the magic show in a dead little town. been an eventful process to get this album out, um, but we're all looking forward to, to its fruition. Man, this is, this is a baby that just will not birth, it seems. As far as the first album goes, we're just trying to create a really fun album, you know, um, a lot of, you know, a lot of dance and music, a lot of that, and it's mainly the influences of Ron and Will. I think this album's going to be a stepping stone. I think this album's definitely going to push us to another level. I think it's something new, um, it's something fresh, um, especially it seems as if what we've put together between the influences from each individual member, um, sometimes are there's similarities and there's differences as well, and it seems like when we write together, or at least when we create this music with one another, um, it kind of spans the spectrum of all sorts of musical genres, so it has a tendency to appeal to everyone. However, there are very numerous themes that repeat, there are reoccurring themes. Um, I believe that's due to Ron. He wrote uh, pretty much all the material for this first album. Um, so I'm really excited about it and what's going to be in the future from this point on. i
big show in a dead little town.